After attending the University of Dayton in the 1990s, Nan Whaley decided to make Dayton her home. And if elected mayor this November, she has plenty of ideas on how to attract more people to Dayton. Whaley studied chemistry at UD, but was very active in politics on campus. I think it was a passion of mine. When I was in college, I started the College Democrats and really was active to try to get people involved in the political process. She still tells people that UD may have brought her here, but two qualities of Dayton are why she never left. It's very opening and it's very welcoming. Uh, not all cities are like that. Initiatives like Welcome Dayton extend a warm welcome to immigrants and also boost economic development. Whaley believes being open to all people is key for Dayton's growth. And we're saying everyone is welcome here regardless. Being an open, vibrant community and improving our neighborhoods are two of three points Whaley tackles in her roadmap for Dayton, along with job creation, using our pre-existing assets like water, manufacturing, and our education and health campuses. I think there's a lot of people that want to stay in the city but can't find a quality job, so we have to work to make sure that we have more jobs created here. If elected as mayor, she hopes citizens will join her in supporting the children of Dayton. And I think that we have to work uh, really hard and recognize we need everyone to work on this. It's not just what are we doing with the schools, it's what is everyone doing to make sure that our kids can read by third grade, that our kids are kindergarten ready, that they're ready to go to ninth grade, and that they're ready to graduate high school. She believes Dayton has nothing but a promising future and sums up the city in one sentence. Dayton is potential. And another voice has been heard. Election Day is November 5th. I'm Hal David Roberts.